Welcome to the 1980s Gladiator Round Tournament. This, of course, is a first round matchup. What a good matchup we have today, ladies and gentlemen. Jusup Wilkosh versus Brutal Bertel Fox. Ah, yes, Bertel Fox. Cold blooded killer. Anyway, I have Bertel Fox winning this pose or this position, rather. Jusip perhaps has the edge in conditioning. He usually is the most conditioned man out there. But you'll notice his clavicle is very narrow. Not much of a V taper there on poor Jusip. And notice the lags there. Bertel Fox has one very impressive set of calves, making his proportions just awesome. Anyway, Bertel uh, gets the duke. Let's carry on. And quite a little bit of a mismatch here in the front double bicep. Bertel Fox looks like some sort of cartoon caricature brought to life. Wow, look at those guns. Big heart-shaped biceps. And big horseshoe triceps. Just very impressive. Like a big trusty steed. Anyway, this is a terrible pose for poor Jusip. He goes to do this pose, and he just dwindles in size. Not a good pose for the German. Anyway, Bertel Fox is an awesome, awesome competitor here in this 80s Gladiator Round Tournament, but let's continue. And this is a very, very difficult comparison for me to make any judgment call at all. You know what? I'm not even going to insult your guys' intelligence by... Even dignifying this comparison with a with a point on either side. Them screenshots. Maybe in the challenge round, yes, then I would go for one. But this is very important here in the gladiator round. We're just going to stick it inconclusive on this one and carry on with the next pose. And believe it or not, I actually had to think about this one. If you know me, then you know I do not appreciate the split in the pectoral region, here in the side chest pose. I like the classic 70s bow. But it appears the stature and the way Brutal Fox has got his, his chest just well bowed out. It looks awesome, and, and quite frankly, he's crushing poor Jusip definitely enough for even me to warrant a point for Brutal Fox here in the side chest pose. Wow, look at his far pack. Look how thick it is. Very impressive. Anyway, Bertel Fox is crushing poor Jusip so far, but let's carry on with some more poses. Poor Jusip. This side tricep is one of his strongest poses. He looks fantastic. Look at that big horseshoe of a tricep. Bertel Fox is still flattening him, though. Doesn't leave much for the morale of you Jusip Wilkosh fans. But, I mean, Bertel Fox is top, top shelf, guys. Anyway, let's have a look at the back regions. It's not my whole landslide here, but I am giving this one to Bertel Fox. It may be just the perfect lighting and the situation and the timing. That whoever snapped that shot was... Just right on time. But either way, look at those traps and those arms. Perhaps not the bottoms of the traps, but the upper traps are dominant over Jusip. But like I said, I don't know, it's not a whole big giant victory. Jusip has a pretty darn good back development. But we're not going to prolong the agony anymore. Bertel Fox has won this competition. And by doing so, we'll advance on to the second round of competition. Eventually, Bertel will face the winner of either Samir Banu or Casey Viator. Two very stiff competitors. Anyway, this 1980s Gladiator Round Tournament, it's really shaping up nicely. See, over on that other side, I can't wait to dig into that good, good side. Lee Haney, Danny Padilla, Lee, Lee Labrada. Wow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, and have a good day.